using the definition of the absolute value function, graph y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. Okay, well in order to go about finding the answer to this question, we need to recall what the definition of the absolute value function is. So the, uh, the definition of absolute value function is that the absolute value x equals x when x is greater than or equal to 0, alternatively minus x when x is less than 0. So this is our definition of the absolute value function, and we're going to apply it directly to this function here, which is y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. So here we could write the absolute value of x plus 2 in a similar fashion to this by substituting wherever we see x, we're going to write x plus 2. So in order to do that, we can say here, instead of x, comma, we're going to write x plus 2, comma. So y equals x plus 2, and then instead of x being greater than or equal to 0, we're going to say x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Similarly, we're going to have instead of minus x, we're going to have minus x plus 2, comma, when x plus 2 is less than 0. Okay, so what this, what this expression does is it's specifying two different lines that we need to draw, and it's also specifying the, specifying the domains over which those lines should be drawn, or the, the valid inputs over which these, uh, these two lines take particular values. So let's examine each one, one by one. And so we'll do this, uh, this first one in green. So here, this first one, y equals x plus 2 over the domain. So we've got y equals x plus 2 over the domain, x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So this is, the, this is one half of our absolute value function graph. Okay, well let's consider, we, you know, we, we know this is a, a linear function uh, because we haven't got an x squared or x cubed or any strange things here. We've only got a, a single x and then a constant. And we know that in order to graph a linear function, all we need to do is find two points and then draw a line through those two points. So let's do that. Let's consider the x and y intercepts here. So we could say, to find the y-intercept, we could say at x equals 0. That defines the y-intercept. We get y equals 0 plus 2, because x equals 0. So that's just y equals 2. So this is one point. Let's go ahead and graph this on the graph. So we've got x equals 0, y equals 2. So x equals 0, 0 units left and right of the origin, and 2 units up. Uh, let, let's find another, another point. Let's find the x-intercept, so we can say at y equals 0, because y equals 0 defines the x-intercept, we've got 0 equals x plus 2. Let's subtract 2 from both sides, so then we get negative 2 equals x, or alternatively x equals negative 2. This is another point we can, we can plot, so we've got x equals negative 2, so that's 2 units left of the origin, and 0 units up or down. So we found these two points. We know that the line represented by this function is just the line through these two points. And so we can draw that line. It will look something like this. And I've drawn it only in a dotted line rather than a solid line because not all of this line is part of the absolute value function. Only part of it is. And that part is determined by this equation. So we've got x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. So only x values which satisfy this condition on this line are part of this absolute value function. Well, let's simplify this a bit. Let's get x on its own. So let's say x, if we, if we subtract 2 from both sides, we get x is greater than or equal to minus 2. In other words, all these values, x is greater than or equal to, to minus 2. So all the, all the values to the right of x equals minus 2 and including the point x equals minus 2, they're all part of the domain. Whereas these, or at least the domain of this part of the function, whereas these values, the curve is not defined or the linear function here is not defined. So what we can do is we can say, okay, all these values, they're associated with these values here. So we can just draw a solid line 
through this dotted line that we had before, the little arrow there. And we can just rub out the rest of this part of the function because we're not going to need that. That's not part of the absolute value function. Fantastic. Well, we're halfway there. All we need to do is draw the other half of this absolute value function. To do that, let's do that in pink. So on the other half, we've got y equals minus x plus 2. So y equals minus x plus 2. Same deal. This is a, uh, this is a, a linear expression. So consequently, we just need to find two points. Let's find the x and y intercepts. Let's find the y intercept first. So let's say at x equals 0, which is associated with the y intercept, we've got y equals minus 0 plus 2 which is the same as saying minus 0 plus 2, that's just 2. So y equals minus 2. Let's plot that. x equals 0, 0 units left or right, and minus 2. So we've got y equals minus 2, that's 2 units down. So we can have something here. Let's go ahead and find the x-intercept. And I'll just do that to the right here because we're running out of space. So to find the x-intercept, we substitute in y equals 0. y equals 0. At y equals 0, we get 0 equals minus x plus 2. So minus in the brackets x plus 2. Let's simplify this out. This equals minus x. And we've got minus 1 times positive 2. So a minus times a negative times positive is a negative. It's going to be negative 2. Let's add x to both sides. So then we get, so this is, we get x equals negative 2. In other words, at x equals minus 2, y equals 0. So x equals minus 2, that's 2 units uh, left of the origin, and y equals 0, 0 units up or down. So it coincides with the point that we found here. Right, now we can draw a dotted line through these two dots. And this dotted line represents the linear function y equals minus brackets x plus 2. Now remembering that this dotted line is only defined for specific values, and those specific values are x plus 2 is less than 0. Well, let's simplify this down. We've got, if we subtract 2 from both sides, we've got x is less than minus 2. Okay, let's go to the graph to determine what x is less than minus 2 means graphically. So that means that any x points that are to the left of x equals minus 2, they are included in, um, in the definition of this line. So in other words, all these points to the left of x equals minus 2, they are included. So we can draw a line through these points like so. However, all the other points, so all the points right of x equals minus 2, including x equals minus 2, aren't included in this function, so we can get rid of them. So these points aren't a part of the function, including this point right here. Okay, so this pink line is the line y equals minus x plus 2 over the domain x plus 2 is less than 0. So these two lines together that we found, these construct the absolute value function y equals the absolute value of x plus 2. Notice we didn't have to graph any points apart from those that we needed in order to, to discover what these two lines looked like. Uh, and that's what we mean by using the definition of the absolute value function. If we'd just drawn a, a table of values and filled those out, that wouldn't be using the definition, that would be completing a table of values. Um, so this is a potentially useful way to graph an absolute value function.